What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Alisa Doing It My Way. I'm your girl, Alisa. Hey, y'all. Hey, happy Thanksgiving. I know y'all can't see me. I'm sitting up in the bed. It's about 4, I think about 4.20 a.m. Central Standard Time. I've been out since about 3.15 Y'all, I got up and put my greens and smoked turkey on, um, making it in the slow cooker. So that's what I got to do. That's what I got up to do. Y'all, who the hell invented, like, who came up? Who, what woman invented getting up early? At the butt crack. It's not even the butt crack of dawn. I can't even say that. Who was the first woman to get up at this hour to start cooking Thanksgiving dinner? Like, where did that tradition come from? Because uh, I'm not feeling it. But I don't know, y'all. I think I'm up now. If y'all hear the whispering, it's like the my ASMR Playing in the background, I play that every night, y'all, to uh, try to go to sleep. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to say happy Thanksgiving. I'll probably be up here throughout the day showing y'all what I'm cooking. How many of you are cooking for Thanksgiving? I have a friend of mine. She's not feeling too well. Right now, she's a nurse. Um, I think she just might have, like, maybe the flu or something. And she said that she was actually having Thanksgiving dinner catered for her and her husband. And she said that she's thinking about doing it again for Christmas. Um, she said that it costs around $200. I didn't ask her. I got to ask her. What all is included in that. But that to me sounds like a good idea. And you probably end up spending less than going to the damn grocery store. Because by the time you buy turkey, ham, or whatever it is you eat at these prices today. But I was actually thinking about doing that for Christmas. Maybe getting something catered, I don't know. It's between that and maybe like um a Louisiana Christmas. For Christmas, we always try to do something new, non-traditional because you just had the Thanksgiving food, so who the hell wants turkey and all of that stuff again? So, I was actually thinking about doing some chicken and sausage gumbo for Christmas and I don't know not sure what goes with that but either that then I thought about like a whole bunch of Chinese food probably make my own Chinese food maybe for I don't know y'all maybe some ribs but I guess I'm pushing it we ain't even get through Thanksgiving yet but yeah how many of y'all are cooking? What are you cooking? What's your favorite dish to cook? Like, if you were going out somewhere, what would that dish be that you know you're going to make it and it's going to be like the bomb? Everybody's going to talk about it. Or a dish that your family likes for you to make when you come over. What would that be? Mine's is baked CD. My family back home, they love my baked CD. I haven't made that in such a long time. I can't eat the tomato sauce right now, but my baked CD and macaroni and cheese, uh, they love that. So, I don't know, they might not be too proud of my macaroni and cheese this year, but, um, those are the dishes that I think are my specialties. What are y'all making for dessert? 
I am making a blueberry cobbler and that is the only dessert that I'm actually making and I did get a family size patty pie ain't no shame in my game I like the patty pies um how many of you like um patty labelle sweet potato pie I like it it ain't my aunt's sweet potato pie but it is good so I'm gonna have blueberry cobbler and that sweet potato pie and we are gonna call it a day I think I'm looking forward to the most as far as eating is ham potato salad and some sweet potatoes I think I'm looking forward to that what do y'all look forward to the most um, talking about food wise, of course, you probably look forward to, you know, spending time with loved ones or your family, or maybe you don't. Are you the cousin that never shows up? I started turning into that person too. My mother was that person. So I try, I try not to be, but, um, some people don't want to be around their family for the holidays. So, I completely understand, but okay, y'all, I guess I'll check y'all out later. I'm a lay back, maybe, I don't know, I guess try to go to sleep. I have to watch these greens because I had too many to put in there at once. So, uh, I guess once those cook down a little bit, I'll add a couple of more to it and that's it. All right, see you guys later. I'm up, y'all. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm semi up. It's about 5.30 in the morning. Um, I came and just put the turkey in the oven. So I figure I'll just stay in the living room in my recliner under my blanket. And I'll be able to catch a few Z's here because if I go back in the bedroom, I won't be able to sleep, like, knowing that the turkey and stuff is in the oven. So, this way, I'm right next to it. I can base it. I think I base mine probably, like, well, it depends. Maybe, like, after the first. 45 minutes to an hour um the more it cooks like when the time gets close for it to be done that's when I like base it a little bit more but um yeah I'm up now it's coming down out here I don't know y'all can see it let me open this door I'm glad I'm staying home today. My daughter is supposed to come. I don't know how they're going to make it, though. It's thundering and everything. Maybe Thanksgiving. All right, y'all. I am just about finished. There is the collard greens. I try to show y'all everything. Here's the collard greens. There's a okay. game. What we got over here? Let's see them. There is the potato salad. I'm looking forward to that, y'all. See some juice spilled out. There is my ham. I'm looking forward to that the most. And the potato salad. So I got that. And we'll come over here. And y'all try to come for my turkey and stuff, y'all. There's my turkey. Oh, uh, 
just some stew chicken. I didn't really like how this came out, y'all, but it'll work for me. I ain't had time to cut up no chicken. So, some Trini stew chicken. Oh, let's see. Mac and cheese. Yeah. Sweet potatoes and y'all, my stuffing is in the oven. Let me get one of these oven mitts. So, there is the stuffing below it. You see my blueberry cobbler and one of those daddy pies I was telling y'all about. That's it, y'all. Hey, y'all. Hey. Everybody's getting the itis. Sweet. Mm. I ain't getting on this camera, y'all. I look a hot mess. But I hope all of y'all had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I want to thank you for stopping by and Lisa doing it my way. Make sure y'all will follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Elisa doing it my way. Oh, she's mad. She want candy. And y'all can email me at Alisa doing it my way. The number two at Gmail. I'll see you guys again soon. Happy Thanksgiving. Bye.